Hey everyone, it's Melissa, just here with a quick update. I had my follow-up appointment this morning from our third cycle of IVF, which was unsuccessful. However, we did get a frozen blastocyst, so can't call it 100% unsuccessful yet. Um, I told her that I was a little bummed about the outcome, you know, like because we had 23 eggs, and I told her I was bummed that we only ended up with two blastocysts, but what she told me was that 17 of those eggs were actually mature, 12 of them fertilized, and she said when 12 fertilized, two is a pretty typical number to have on day five, so maybe my expectations were just too high, I don't know. So, um, and the other thing she told me, I asked her if 3BB really was a good grade, and she said it's very good. Um, and she also told me that they have their own grading system at my clinic, and it might not be the same as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as what I found online. I think what I found online goes A, B, C, and I think that my clinic does A, B, C, D, E for quality, which would mean that a BB would be pretty good. Um, so there's that. Um, Oh, the other thing is, we had no idea. When my husband had the surgery to retrieve the sperm, we thought they got four vials of sperm, because that's what we were told, all three cycles. So we thought we were down to one left. <clears throat> but I found out today that we actually have six vials left. I guess the notation um, that from the lab was confusing, and so she actually called the andrology lab, and they told us that they have six vials left. So I'm really excited about that because I was thinking, you know, if we do another fresh cycle and it doesn't work, my husband would have to go through the surgery again. But um, with six vials left, I really don't think that's going to happen because I don't plan on doing more than six more cycles. Holy crap, that would be a lot. Um, so we're going to do a frozen embryo transfer next. She told me that I'm still young enough that if I get pregnant from the frozen cycle, I would still be able to do, like, a fresh cycle later if I wanted to. Um, she said I should, I still have good ovarian reserve, whatever that means. But I'm going to be 33 on Monday, so it's always nice when someone tells you that you're still young. Um, and she also told me oh, that the frozen embryo transfer success rate is like only one or two percent less than a fresh cycle so it's it's pretty close to being the same success rate so that's good um so she gave me two options one was to like start birth control right now and then as soon as we get the insurance approval i would stop the birth control and start the estrogen for a couple of weeks and then go in and check the lining and if the lining's good you do the progesterone for like five days and then go in for the transfer um, or the other option was to just wait for my next cycle, and on cycle day one is when I would start the estrogen, and that's what I chose. I'm not in so much of a rush that I need to take birth control so that I can do it two weeks sooner. That just seems silly to me, so, um, we're going to wait. Uh, it'll probably be the very end of December or very beginning of January when I get my next cycle, so that's when we'll be looking at doing the frozen embryo transfer. Um, I'm really excited about it, and I hope that it works. And, you know, if not, we do have six vials of sperm left, and that's a good thing. Um, you know, the only other thing about, like, deciding to do maybe a, fr a fresh cycle right now as opposed to a frozen cycle is, um, you know, I don't know how many kids we want total. I wouldn't mind having like four, but I do realize that I'm 33 years old and I only have one so far. So, you know, I, I can't, um, you know, expect that that's actually going to happen. But anyway, um, going off on a tangent here, what I was going to say is like, if we do another fresh cycle and let's say it works and then I end up with four more frozen blasts, you never know. Um, that would be scary to me to have like two babies and then five frozen blasts still because morally I cannot discard any that we have. So if we have frozen embryos, I need to use them. So if that means I have to do two at a time, or <laughs> I don't know, 
I would have to use them. So that's the only thing that makes me a little nervous. But um, yeah, anyway, so we're going to do the fresh cycle and we're going to hope that it works. And then, you know, if we have a baby from that, we'll decide, you know, later on in a couple years whether we want to try and have more or if we're good with two. I just don't want Vincent to grow up alone. So um, I appreciate all you guys, you guys's, all you guys's nice comments on my last video. Um, you know, a lot of people said I had a great attitude about it. Well, I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for my son and I know that, uh, I know how much it hurts when you are still trying for your first one and you get that big fat negative and it just, it's different when you already have a baby. I, I don't know. It's, you know, I, like I said, I, I don't, I just don't want to seem ungrateful. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't want to seem ungrateful because I'm not. So, um, I'm just trying to stay optimistic, you know, and I feel like for whatever reason that pregnancy was just not meant to be right now. So, uh, we're just looking forward, like I said, and we're staying optimistic. So uh, I'll be updating, you know, as anything comes up, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.